That's me, Glenn Martin. Father, dentist, lover. But mostly father and dentist. I took my family on a road trip so we can grow closer. Well, that and I burned the house down. So it's me, my wife Jackie, she's the sweetest. Oh, our son Connor, the ladies' man. His sister Courtney will all be working for her one day. In fact, her assistant Wendy already is. Ooh, can't forget K9. He's got a giant heart. Wanna hear us whistle? Here we are, kids. The end of the continent. I've been framed. And possibly the end of civilization? All right, relax. That man's just a harmless, colorful, oh my god, I'm looking at his tingling. Mm. Whoa, look at those piercings. Mom, can I get some? Connor Martin Martin, if you do anything to harm those beautiful, buttery earlobes, I will beat you to within an inch of your life. Oh, man, you never let me do anything I'm going to regret. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, guys, this is what you've been waiting for. A little tandem bike action. It's a little tradition my daughter and I have. Yep, Team Glartney. We're looking for a sponsor if you want to give me my money back. Let's go. <laughs> hey, you're not on Team Glartney. I've ever had. How sweet. And you're the best employee I've ever had. Oh, thanks. Hey, guys, wait up. Oh, my God, he's so cute. What's he been in? High School Musical 4, and I'm guessing next season Celebrity Rehab. <laughs> you are so funny. That has to go down in my... Diary? No, employee evaluation form. I'm giving you a mostly satisfied. <sighs> hey, Court, what you doing? We're looking at cute boys in magazines. Oh, hey, mind if I join in? I love looking at cute boys. Dad, we're kind of in the middle of you not being here. Gotcha. Still in the middle. Oh, you want me to leave? You've got to see the new issue of Us Magazine. They have a whole section devoted to what's wrong with Madonna's face. <laughs> <sighs> Look at me, I'm a 10. <laughs> now picture me running on the beach in a bikini, just like Bo Diddley. Oh. Is something wrong? I've made a decision. Wendy's gotta go. What? We took this trip to grow closer as a family. That's not gonna happen with Little Miss getting in the way, getting in the way. I know you're frustrated that you're not bonding with your daughter, but don't take that out on Wendy. Uh, I'm not taking it out on Wendy. I just don't like her very much, and I think she's the cause of all my problems. You know how hard it is for Courtney to make friends. Wendy's really good for her. We don't know anything about this girl. I mean, she never talks about her family. She carries around that locked duffel bag. She could be a grifter or a serial killer for all we know. Or both. Exactly! Wendy, can you come in here a minute? Please don't do what I think you're going to do. Yes? Have a seat, sweetheart. And he's doing it. Yeah. Comfy? Not really. So, Wendy Park, there's no record of a Park family in our hometown. Logical explanation? It's because I was raised by my grandma Dixie. Her last name is Nitrum. Oh. Quick, without thinking, what city were you born in? Toledo. Spain or Idaho? Ohio. Right. I should probably be getting back. Help yourself to something out of the prize chest. You looked really stupid, Glenn. I look stupid? You're the one who just put a Fruit Loop in her hair. <gasps> I was born in Toledo. <gasps> My grandma Dixie. <gasps> her last name is Nitrum. Nitrum? <gasps> I knew it! What are you doing? Wendy's been lying to us the whole time. Let's find out who our daughter's assistant really is. <clears throat> now, let's see what you're hiding, mysterious tweenager. T-shirts, shoes. Let's see, T-shirts that have shoes on them. Oh, you happy now, Glenn? You just violated the trust of a sweet little girl. A girl who Three passports, satellite phone, picture of Wendy with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-il. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. See? I told you she was a spy. You never said spy. You said serial killer or grifter. Because I didn't want to frighten you. What do we do? What do we do? Don't panic. Tomorrow morning, we'll go to the cops. Until then, we put everything back, and no one will ever know.
동료를 찾았습니다. 팀을 보낼까요? <웃음> 예입니까? 아닙니까? Wendy, will you scrape the black off my toast? I just sat down. Sweetheart, Wendy doesn't serve us. We serve Wendy. Anything else I could get you, Wendy? More orange juice? I'll take more. Shut up, boy. I wasn't talking to you. Fresh pancakes. Mom, I'm getting my ears pierced, and you can't say no. Okay, dear, whatever you say. Can I also put a bar through my nipple? Sure thing, lamb chop. Will you excuse me, kids? One, two... <laughs> Why aren't we at the police station yet? Good idea, Jackie. I'll speed while transporting a terrorist. That's life in prison and comedy traffic school. Why is my phone ringing? And why is my lock glued together with toothpaste? I have I no idea. You people have no idea the chain of events you've set in motion. What's going on here? Why haven't I been CC'd on any of this? We're being followed. Punch it, Glenn. Glenn? Listen, Missy, I didn't go to dental school to be called Glenn. Move it! Ah! Oh, ninjas! Oh, my God, we're all gonna die! Ah! Hang on! You can drive? What else have you been hiding from me? You better not tell me you can type. Courtney, your trusty assistant is a liar. Tell us who you really are, Dixie Nitrum Toledo. Fine. I'm a world-class gymnast, and those are my teammates. They're here to take me back. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be a lot less egg on my face if she murdered us in our sleep. Whew. Open door! We want to talk! What do you mean you're a gymnast? What, what's going on here? Please, let me explain. I grew up an orphan in a small fishing village in North Korea. I'm told my parents gave me up for adoption. Even at a young age, I showed a gift for gymnastics. My talent was soon noticed by a North Korean gymnastics coach, an evil man by the name of Mr. Cho. Some called his training techniques unorthodox, others called them war crimes. We rarely ate, and when we ate, it was always rare. I don't mean to complain, but I believe Rottweiler is best served medium well. <laughs> After 10 years of this, I realized the only way out was to fake my own death. I fled to America, where I saw an ad in the business section of Tiger Beat. Hard worker needed. Must have unquestioning respect for authority and proficiency with emoticons. Best 50 bucks I ever put on Dad's credit card. For three years, I've been on the run, but now it looks like they're here to take me back. Over my dead body? They'll have to go through me first. Come on in. Excuse me for being polite. The supreme grand leader of North Korea. You said he was just a coach. Gymnastics coach? That puts him third in line for the presidency. Right behind the ping pong coach. Comrade Bong Wafu? Yes? I bought Pottery Bon! I can't believe your name is Bong Wa. I'm not paying for new business cards. You just heard my life story, and that's all you care about. Who wants scented candle? Oh, uh, I guess I'll take one. But this doesn't mean I condone your wicked actions. Oh, understood. Who wore flatware? Me again. Same disclaimer. You can't force me back, Mr. Cho. I not want to force you. I just want to give you a present. Bowl full of pine cones. Pine cones? I'm not going to open that. It's probably an explosive. Oh, <laughs> bon I'm not like that anymore. When you fake death, you shook up entire gymnast community. Seriously, you use way too much dynamite. My arm was blown off. Replaced with laboratory-grown baby arm. Aww. They grow up so fast. Take lots of pictures. I see why you like it here, Bongwa. America's so wonderful. So much to watch on TV. What do you think will happen with Ross and Rachel? I am not buying any of this. All I ask is that you and your friends come to my hotel suite show you how nice your life would be if you came back. 
Come on, bong water. Let's hear the man out. Hey, Cho, your pool heated? This is where we stay while we in town for American Goodwill Tour. Sweet. Wow. Wicked. <laughs> oh, how thoughtful. You brought lunch. What the hell is that? I just lost my appetite. Okay, where are the landmines? No, Bangwa, this is what it's like all the time. And I'm not just saying that so I can see my parents again. Hey, check me out. Did it myself. Sorry, I'm not a doctor. So, who thirsty for great juice smoothie? Oh, thank you. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? You think I fly into uncontrollable rage? That was old Cho. Once you have a baby uh, arm, your whole outlook change. <laughs> oh, yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Pong Hua, I remember your favorite movie star with Jonathan Lip Nikki. Surprise! <laughs> Hi, Wendy. Come back to North Korea. We'll show you the money. So what you say, Bong Hua? You come back to team? I promise this time you'll be appreciated. Well, whatever. As wonderful as all this obviously is, maybe we should discuss this at home. Well, we haven't even tried the pool. 98 degrees, Jackie. It's like swimming in your own blood. You take your time. <laughs> Not now, baby arm. <laughs> okay, just once. Peekaboo! I can't believe what I just saw. Jonathan Lipnicki in a cage. It all seems pretty great, doesn't it? Excuse me? I mean, Mr. Cho sure went through a lot of effort to win me back, right? Uh, so you wouldn't mind going back? It is kind of tempting. My own apartment, my own Lipnicki. Okay, a little more macchiato, a little less tacchiato. Of course, I wouldn't mind seeing a counter offer on the table. And I wouldn't mind seeing a macchiato on the table. Coming right up. I guess that's all I'll ever be to you, an employee, because according to Mr. Cho, I'm a star. In North Korea. It's not even the best Korea. It's third behind South Korea and Chick Korea. The man is a jazz master. Girls, both of you, calm down. Wow, taking a shot at the fatherland. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Hear what? Enjoy your macchiato. Oh, whoops. <laughs> guess you'll have to make me another one, this time with a little less sass. <laughs> Wow, did she just flip you off? Why can't Courtney just tell Wendy how much she means to her? If she's not careful, she's gonna send Wendy right back to that tyrant. He is the only family she's ever known. This might be best for everyone. Everyone meaning you. Right, and when I'm in a good mood, it's infectious. Oh, you just want her gone no matter what. I'll straighten her out in the morning. Jackie? Yes? Do you think the baby arm sleeps in a onesie? Oh my God, I was wondering the same exact thing. Oh, sorry, I, I, I didn't know anyone was up. I come down here at night because I like to, uh, to eat when no one's watching. I'm just prepping Courtney's breakfast. She likes me to take the seeds out of her strawberries. Dr. Martin, do you think Courtney thinks of me as a friend? Well, um, I can tell you this. I know she is pleased with your performance. Thanks. That's what I thought. Well, see you in the morning. I am so glad you called. I'm ready to become the best gymnast you've ever seen. <laughs> oh, you wake up, baby arm. Hush, little baby arm, don't say a word. Joe's gonna buy you a mock hamper. Leave it. Leave it. Market's down. Don't want to talk about it. There are seeds in my strawberries. Wendy, I am not happy. You know, I haven't seen her all morning. Time for another talk where I damn her with faint praise and undermine her confidence. Wow, 
Look at all this stuff. It's from William Sonoma. A panini maker? Oh, oh my God, I'm finally happy! What's this? Dear Martin family, I do not know how much time I have on voice card. Plus, I want to leave Bongwa a turn to say goodbye. Here you go, Bongwa. This is gonna sound racist, but you know who that card sounded like? Yes, Glenn, it was Mr. Cho. Oh, thank God. Now I don't have to hate myself. So that's it. She really did it. She really quit. Are you okay, honey? Of course. <laughs> she was only an employee. Well, I'm here if you want to talk, honey. You know what? I'm taking you for a little father-daughter quality time. That's right, tandem biking. I'd like that, Dad. Hey, where's Wendy? She's gone forever. Keep up, Van Gogh. Cool! I'll go wake her up! Isn't this great? Team Glortney. Just like the old times. Yeah, it's really... <laughs> Just so you know, kitten, my handlebars don't work the bike. I, I know. I'm, I'm okay. Whoa, 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 watch out! Filthy two-wheeler! Is something bothering you? Just a little hormonal. It's my time of the month. Ew, yuck. Hey, you don't have a time of the month yet. And it's the other thing with the hot flashes and facial hair. You know what I think? I think you miss Wendy. Please, what's there to miss? Her fabricated resume, her sloppy dictation? How oh, she laughed at my Fannie Mae jokes? You two certainly enjoy laughing at other people's misery. All right, that's it. We're getting Wendy back. Dad, no. I wasn't a good father when I somehow let Connor hole punch his ear, and I wasn't a good father when I let you and Wendy drift apart. I'm turning this bike around. Thanks, Daddy. Actually, since you're in the front, you're gonna have to turn this bike around. All right, let's do this. Four tickets to the gymnastic finals. That'll be $160. Ouch. You know, maybe it's best if I do this alone. Glenn. Right. Make our leader proud, Bonwa. Or at least not angry. I won't let you down, Mr. Cho. You need something to eat? Lipnicki, where's Seedless Strawberry? I, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Next up, Bong Wah Fo. Did I say that right? Wendy! Courtney? What are you doing here? I... I want you back. You do? Bong Wah! You don't go back to Tankless Job, you big star in Korea! We make statue of you in court! Uh, come on, baby, I'm happy out. Ooh. <laughs> I'll give you a raise. I'll double your vacation days. <laughs> you tired of Lip Nicky? No problem. Look, Ellie Joe Osman. Uh, I was told this was a ribbon cutting for a car dealership. <laughs> <laughs> I win, Courtney Martin. There's nothing you can offer that I can't top. Wendy, you're my best friend. <sighs> wow, I never had a best friend. Neither have I. Should we get a charm that fits together? I'll swallow my half so it's close to my heart. Ah, let's take it slow. Look at them, Glenn. That's all because of you. Yeah, almost makes me forget about the 160 bucks I paid to watch a girl's sport, plus parking. Not so fast, Tata Mata. Oh, Mr. Cho, if this is about a thank you note, I wanted to write one. He said it wasn't necessary. Uh, in my defense, I never thought we were going to see you again. The girl stays with us. Okay. okay. You want to go, little man? Huh? You think you can take a red-blooded suburban American dentist? I got two weapons of mass destruction right here. Uh-oh. On the count of three, baby arm. I'm teaching him numbers. <laughs> One, two, three. Cool. You're this man. Still need work. <sighs> mm. 
That's it. You're now an official member of the Martin family. Well, not official official, but I'll pay for your meals at restaurants without griping. Come on, best friend. We've got lots to do. That's right. I have to make my best friend a macchiato. No, no, no. You're part of the family now. You can make us all macchiatos. <laughs> <laughs>